Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere. And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void were prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Hello, it is Ryan. And I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over at the person sitting next to me. And you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. BGW. Void. We're prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Presenting the adventures of Jungle Jim. Last week, Jungle Jim notified the hotel manager of the mysterious shooting of the Chinese messenger Lo Tung and assured him that if the authorities had any questions, they could find him at his camp just outside the town. As Jim neared his camp, an airplane roared over his head and landed close to his tent. When he reached it, Shanghai Lil, dressed in flying togs, was waiting to talk to him. The thrilling adventures of Jungle Jim are pictured each Sunday in the Comic Weekly, the world's greatest pictorial supplement of humor and adventure. The Comic Weekly, each page printed in full colors, is distributed everywhere as an integral part of your Hearst Sunday newspaper. And now we continue our story. Patrick O'Shaughnessy Flynn is just about to close up his cafe for the night when the door opens and a police lieutenant enters. Good evening, Flynn. Ah, Lieutenant. I wish you the same. And what can I be serving you with? Nothing but some information. This visit is in the line of duty. Is it now? And what laws have I been accused of breaking, if I may be so bold as to ask? Have you been here in your cafe all evening? Most of it, sir. Now tell me exactly how you spent this evening. Well, let's see now. Do you want me to start before me supper, with me supper, or after I ate it? Oh, after supper will do. Then after supper it'll be. As soon as I'd finished, I filled up me darling clay pipe here, and I started to polish up me glasses until I should get some customers. I tell you, Lieutenant, you've no idea the amount of work it is to keep these here glasses all shined and... Oh, well, well, never mind that. You polish the glasses, then what? Whilst I was working away and sort of totally yodeling to myself, the door opens. And who should come in but me old friend Jungle Jim Bradley? Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Be careful now and tell me exactly what conversation took place between you and Bradley. Uh, yes, sir. We greet each other and pass the time of day like, and then Jim, he asked me if I have any mail for him. I says, no, I hadn't, and then I suddenly remembers the letter Little Lemon Face Low Tongue left for him. Oh, so you knew something about the Chinese. Oh, uh, I, I only knew that he hung around me cafe for a couple of days without saying anything, but give me a small beer, please. What was this letter you say he left for Bradley? I'm coming to that, sir. You see, I tried to get a message for Jim out of him. He said he'd been told he could meet Jim here and that he couldn't give me the message. But he left it in the letter for Jungle Jim. Uh, that's what I thought, too, sir, until Jim reads the letter out to me. Now, what do you mean by that, Flip? The letter was as un understandable as the talk of the little yellow fella. Why? <laughs> was it in Chinese? No, sir. It was spelled out in the king's English right enough. But it didn't give us no more hint as to what he was doing around here than we knew before. Why? What did it say? The note told Jim it was terrible important for him to meet Lo Tung at his room in the hotel. And Jim was to make sure he wasn't followed. So the two of you went to the hotel to meet the Chinese. That's why you weren't here all evening. Uh, yes and no. Now, now explain yourself, Lynn. Uh, that I was at the hotel for a few minutes, uh, yes. But that the two of us went to meet the Chinese, no. Uh, Jim went by himself. When did you go? Well, uh, well after uh, he had been gone a little time, I gets to thinking. I says to myself, I says, Patrick O'Shaughnessy, suppose Jungle Jim's walking into a trap. 
That letter asked him to make sure he wasn't followed, and so... And so you went up to the hotel. Did you go straight to the room of Lotong? I did that. Did you hear anything out of the ordinary as you approached it? In a manner of speaking, I, I did, sir. You heard angry voices? I did not. It was a shot I heard, just as I reached the top of the stairs. When you got to the room, was the door locked or unlocked? Let me see. I knocked and hollered, I, uh, all right, Jim. And then Jim, he hollered out he was, and for me to wait a minute... Well, I... now we're getting somewhere. Badly asked you to wait a minute, did he? Why? Why, why, why because he had to come to the door to let me in. I remember now, Jim unlocked it and let me in, then he locked it again. I see. How long a time elapsed between the time Bradley answered you and he opened the door? Oh, sure, it was only a bit of a minute, sir. Why, why, you ain't thinking... Well, never mind what I'm thinking. What happened after you entered the room? I nearly jumped out of me skin to see the Chinese, Lord of mercy on him, lying flat on his back on the floor in the blood stain in his nice white Panama suit. Did you ask Bradley what had happened? I did that. Them was me first words. And he said whilst they was talking, a shot come through the window and struck the yellow fella. Why was the door locked during the interview? As near as I can make out, Lieutenant, the Chinese was mortal afraid of someone. Jim said before they started to talk at all, the Oriental looks out in the hall and then locks the door. What was the subject of this interview? Well, you know, you see, uh, won't you be having a drop of something, Lieutenant? Uh, no, not while I am on official business. Answer me. What was the subject of this interview? Well, uh, <clears throat> it seems they didn't rightly get around to the subject, sir. It was an open and skirmish like. Neither had seen the other before, mind you, and each was sizing the other up a bit before divulging too much. If you know what I mean. Yes, yes, of course. <sighs> it is glad I am to hear that, sir. Now, Flynn. Did you examine the body of Low Tongue? I did not, uh, but Jim did. Did he open the dead man's shirt? No. Uh, there was no need. Jim felt no heartbeats and saw his eyes were staring, and then he called the manager, Bill Wyman. But neither of you opened the dead man's shirt. No, sir. Sure about that? I'll take me oath on it. Then how did that purple triangle get stamped over his heart? Purple triangle? Yes. Faith, I never saw a purple triangle in me life, much less on a heathen Chinese chest. Well, there was one there when we examined him after you and your vagabond friend left. You don't say. I do say. And I'll say something else. You'd better stay pretty close to town for a while, Flynn. There may be some further questions we'd like to ask you. After we talk to Jungle Jim Bradley. Flynn. What's up, Bill? Lieutenant. What's the matter, Mr. Byron? Both of you, come up to the hotel quickly. Lily DeVril's native boy, Mamba, is running amok. Meanwhile, the little motorboat of the Reverend Chalmers makes its way down the river toward Burawani. Are you all right, Dad? Yes, my dear. I'm all right. I'll steer the boat now if you'd like me to. No, no, I think I can hang on a while longer, Lynn, thanks. I wish there was something I could do for you, Dad. Is the pain any better? No, no. It's about the same. Lynn, dear, if, uh, if anything should happen to me, promise me that you'll go directly to your mother. You won't hang about Burawani. Oh, Dad, nothing must happen to you. You've got to be all right. You've just got to. The Lord's will be done, my dear. If he says come home, I can but obey his last command as I've obeyed his first. Go thou and preach my gospel to all nations. Well, what's the matter, Dad? Why did you twist up like that? Just, just a sort of twinge, dear. I'm all right now, Lynn. Oh, I'm so worried about you. Hadn't you better lie down and let me steer? No, dear. You aren't familiar with the river as I am, and heaven knows I'm no expert. I'm hoping to last until we get a Burawane. But, dear, you haven't given me your promise that anything should happen. If the final call comes to me, you will go directly to your mother in Shanghai. If you leave me, Dad, I'll go back to Mother. That's a good girl. That's my daughter. I know what you're thinking, that I throw myself at Jungle Jim. Well, I won't. I may love him, but I've got some pride, Dad. I'm sure you have. If Jim should find himself in love with you, my dear, I'll not deny. It would give me great pleasure to uh, give you both my blessing and to call Jim son. 
But I know you've too much dignity and pride to attempt to bring that about. And don't worry. If Jim were the last man on earth, he'd have to do the proposing as far as I'm concerned. Good. Let me see that map for a moment. Here it is. Ah, uh, yes. Now, here we are. And there's Crocodile Bay over there. See the water? Foaming with lashing tails? Well, I'm glad to get past this place with our engine going full speed. So am I. And I'm glad there's a moon so we can see our course. Yes, my dear. We'll need all its beams to guide us through the channel among the submerged rocks. How's the petrol holding out? Half full, Dad. How far are we from the channel you were speaking of? Round the next bend, Lynn. The river straightens out for a stretch. There'll be a rocky point on either side of us, forming a sort of gateway. When we pass between those points, we'll be entering the channel. Then we ought to be almost at Bora One. No, the channel marks the halfway of our journey. Then hadn't I better relieve you for a while, Dad? You've never left the brothers since we started. No, no, I... I'll be all right, my dear. We're coming to the bend. Here we go round the bend. And there, straight ahead of the rocky points. See them, Lynn? Yes, Dad. Pray. Pray that we reach for one is it, Lynn. Dad, what's the matter? Daddy! Daddy! Oh, dear Lord. If ever I needed thy help, I need it now. Please get me to Borowani so I can get Dad to a doctor. Puzzled by the mysterious murder of the Chinese messenger Lo Tung, Jungle Jim has enough on his mind without being bothered by Shanghai Lil, whom he found waiting at his camp. So he stalks into his tent, and after lighting the lamp, gets out his favorite pipe. Lil follows him into the tent. Well, you might ask a lady to sit down. Sit down if you like. <laughs> you might be more gracious. But perhaps it's a surprise at seeing me here. To say I'm surprised at finding you here would be putting it mildly. Well... What can I do for you now? Oh, you can't do anything for me, Jim. This time, I'm doing you a favor. Don't make me laugh, Lil. If you're going to laugh, do it while you can. I came to warn you, Jim. Your life is in great danger. My life is usually in danger. What of it? This is a special danger, Jim. I flew here to warn you because I love you. Oh, I see. You're my danger. Oh, joke if you want to, Jim, but you can't joke about this. I believe a Chinese was killed tonight while talking to you. Why, how... And telling you that you were wanted by the American consul at Shanghai. Isn't that true? Yes. But how do you know all this? I know more, Jim. I know that Lo Tung was about to suggest taking you to Shanghai. Really, the real... You were to die mysteriously on shipboard. How could you possibly know all this? I'll explain that later. So, it was all a frame-up. The American consul story was just a decoy to get me away. No, the United States consul does want to see you, Jim, for an urgent reason. That much is true. Say, what kind of a game is this? I think I'll write the consul at Shanghai and ask him to give me the straight dope. Well, there's not time enough for letters to get there and back, Jim. I'm telling you the truth. You're wanted by him, all right. You must leave at once. There's no time to be lost. Why, the next boat for Shanghai won't leave for a week. I know, but I'll take you there on the plane. The sooner we leave, the better. You'll fly me to Shanghai? Yes, Jim. Say, is this another trick of yours? This time I'm on the level. You know I love you. I can't help remembering a few tricks you pulled in the past, Lil. This uh, great love you say you have for me uh, didn't stop you then. I don't see what difference it could make now. Oh, I don't blame you for being suspicious, Jim. But I think I've made up for all the trouble and pain I've caused you. How? By coming here with this warning? By offering to uh, fly me to Shanghai? Partly. But for a greater reason than either of these... Well, uh, what's this great atonement of yours, Lil? I think it will prove I'm on the level. And it will explain how I know what happened tonight. Well? Jim, Lo Tung was shot at my request. Will Jungle Jim fly with Lily DeVril to the American Consul at Shanghai? The exciting adventures you have just heard dramatized are pictured in full-color action pictures in the current issue of the Comic Weekly. The big comic weekly distributed with your Hearst Sunday newspaper everywhere. A new feature is now presented each week. It is called Heroes of American History and picturizes the careers of great men and women in the story of our country. 
There is also all of the famous characters who live in the world of color pictures, bringing up Father, Skippy, the Little King, Barney Google, the Cats and Yammer Kids, and many, many others. Don't forget our date next week, same time, same station, for a continuation of the adventures of Jungle Jim. Jungle Jim.